going to the Lord not an easy thing? Talk to me now, somebody. Well, thank God is never easy, and I don't care how anyone wants to try and twist it and put it and make you feel like, say, oh, you know, how could you say such a thing? Because following the Lord and, and, and people tell you that, you know, you know, you know the song that me never get weary? Me not sing the song that. But I tell you, me, me know better. Me share crooks. Me know, me never get weary yet. Eh? A lie. Me see a lie. That's only a fantasy. That is so good in your mind. But even this man may get weary. <laughs> Can I talk to the church? You, you think I is not figure about a nice, nice Sunday man in bed? Glory to God. Am I talking to the church? Some of you work all week. Some of you work six days. And uh, your only day off is actually your Sunday. And you decide to come to church and I contract, but you never get weary at a lie. Enough time, me get weary. And uh, that is in the physical. But many times, we get weary in the spirit. I want to throw in the towel and forsake everything. So I'm a cheerful saints of the very songs that I sing and talk about me never get weary and, and all these things. It's, it's not true. I get discouraged at times. Um, I've been struggling. I've been struggling a lot with my illness. And I've been struggling with coming to church more often. So as usual, I would call my daughter over. She, see, she's a Christian. She's also a Pentecostal. So she understands. And she was saying, Mommy, we all go through that, especially you being a new convert. When I walk in this morning, I bowed down and I prayed. And I said, God, give me a word. Because I do get weary. And when my pastor, my Pastor God. Steve Mary, went up, the first thing that he was saying, I do get weary sometimes. Jesus. And I said, thank you, God. This is the word that I needed to yes. keep pressing on. You're not to alone. To keep holding yes. on. You're not alone, Sister Jordan. Yes. If Hallelujah. your pastor is telling you that he does get weary at times, you need no one else. So I just want to thank God for the word and I thank God for my pastor, Steve Mary, this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you. Just please pray for me while I pray for myself. Yes, hallelujah. Wash me, Jesus. 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 Wash me. Uh, yesterday, Brother Chris and Sister Serena celebrate little Sister Serena. Yet yeah, celebrated their birthday. Please, we're gonna sing them just a little while. So that's Brother Chris and little Serena. All right, they want to see you. Brother Chris, stand up. Everybody knows Brother Chris. And Sister Serena, stand up. Wave your hands. All right, let's do the little song now, just once. Happy birthday mm -hmm. to both of you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Missionary Marco. Yes, you can go ahead and stand because she was our um, woman's president before and she did a wonderful job. Praise the Lord Jesus. And this afternoon, I take great pleasure and delight. I'm really humbled to hand you this token, woman of God. Continue to do the work of God. What this what is enveloped in this is love. And we just want you to continue. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Praise God. And that, as we know, she was sick for a while. So was unable to go to work. And so the women's executive decided that all the women would, you know, just show some love to her for the period that you were out of work. Aren't they lovely, Missioner Mako? God bless you, Missioner Robinson and your team. Thank you, Sister Gady, and praise God. Glory to God. You know, I have $1,200. 
Glory to God. And I said, oh my God, I'm going to pay my offering. Glory to God. And you know, the Bible said, give, up, give $500 for your offering. Glory to God. And I obey. Glory to God. And I said, well, I'm going to use the $200 go back home. And I'm going to use the $500 to pay to come to go to work tomorrow. I mean, last night, glory to God, <laughs> I went to the supermarket. Mighty God, God is so good. And I go on all the shelves and I look in the, in, 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 on the shelf and I walk around and I only could have buy a bottle of water and I last for. I look on what I want but I didn't have the money for to buy it. But God worked in a mischievous way. Glory to God. When I came here to, today, I didn't know that God had something in store for me. Glory to God. And I went into the supermarket and I looked if I was married and the flower, the rice, the cooking aisle. And I could not take up one. But can I tell you, that envelope that I got this morning. Woo! Yes, Usha. You know, when I open it this evening and I look and I say, God. God! You know how to provide. Glory to God. And I said to myself, mighty God, tomorrow I can go in the supermarket. God, because of you and nothing I've done to deserve the love and mercy you showed for your grace was strong enough to pick us up cause you somebody sing when my back was against the wall hallelujah and I feel like I could not make it God God, you and the only reason I'm standing here is only because away. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God Almighty, your young converse, praise God, Sister Sherry. You see, I learned testimony the way you have. The devil just now one can watch and I wait for the right time to grip you. But can I encourage you today? Keep focus. Don't watch the noise of the market. Look for your correct change. Hallelujah to God. Keep focus. Hallelujah. The furnace is hot. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. But I have a God that is hotter than any furnace. He's a consuming fire. A God of fire. He can burn out anything. Hallelujah. No matter if you're bound up, you feel like you're tied up in the situation. Lord God, Lazarus was bound. Good God Almighty. But I hear when Jesus stepped on the scene, he said, roll away the stone. Even though the stone was rolled away, he was still bound. But I heard Jesus said, loose him. Lord God Almighty, somebody in here wants to be loose. Oh God Almighty. If you want to be loose, stand in the position. Mango Rabako Shandaya. Hello, Sakuraba. Hello, Shamamakora. Stand in the position. He's at the tomb and he's waiting. Oh, God, where God is, anything can happen. When the consuming fire gets in the midst, anything can happen. It's a loose him. Loose him. Oh God, if you're bound today, Ramoko Shadayamako Sata. If you are loose today, can I tell somebody? God is here to roll. Roll away the stone. Oh God. Say, Lord, I'm here. I'm 
I'm here, Jesus. Oh, God Almighty. No grave is going to hold this girl down. Oh, God. Loose. Hallelujah. God is standing here in our midst. She did them. Um, you eat this, you eat this. And she said, Give me more things. Pan what she did left go. already. And I was there. And I said, Yeah, man, just give me them. Me now refuse because I said, Mr. My pastor teach me say, when I get blessing, don't refuse. Amen. It. Amen. Because, guess what? Sometimes you don't know when hungry lick you, you know, yes. you spice up something when you eat. That's you know, right. And you have to eat to sustain your body. Amen. So me accept it. And I was there. Um, and in, in, in that same week, um, and a, a church sister called me and said, Sister, you know that the Lord tell me to bless you with a bag. I'm here and say, He said, Me if you care, you can't get a book, guess what? Me don't know how people, sometimes people funny. Me said, My, me say, Look here, so when God bless me, I don't refuse it. Me <laughs> say, Me say, Bring it, come and give me, bring it. That's you know, right. He am not. You know nothing, you know, me no business if you know enough care you come. And Amen. I accept, I'm going to tell her, say, when we go meet the church sister, you know, man. And she said, see the box here, much not in it, but, 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 but manage it, you know. Then I start lift the box, you know, see it. <laughs> and I said, this box is heavy, man. And I said, then, oh, she said, much not in it. Um, you know, see, me have a pack of, me have a big bag of rice, about 20 pounds. You know, you want some rice? I mean, I say, yeah, man, you know, we don't know if you eat it, you know, because of jasmine rice. <laughs> I mean, I think, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because, because the other kind of soup. I say, me say, look here, you better give me that jasmine rice because That's guess right. what? Because guess what? I cannot go and buy a pound of jasmine That's rice. That's right. Because you don't know all jasmine rice, dear. Amen. Because I remember the first time I bought a pack of jasmine rice. It was not for eating. Oh, God. <laughs> Sister Abby know what I'm talking about. Oh, Jesus. Yes, Fini. Yes, I know we just start good and it's a rice water. So, all right, Abby, we know it's not cheap rice. All right. A jasmine rice we are using. And... That was the first time I buy a pack of jasmine rice to, to get the ears to look at grow. the ear. Yes. That was this. And for when you use it, you want to when you use it again. <laughs> and, and even when you get the taste of the rice when you live, because guess what? When I was in home, my husband would cook the recite and eat it. <laughs> because then it was jasmine rice. And me, I say, him? Jasmine rice? And I say, what? And when I carry it home, when I carry it home, I sat, that's last week, I, last week, Saturday, I bring it home. And I say, Leighton, watch out. You know what kind of rice is Leighton? <laughs> and Leighton, I say, what kind of rice? I say, I <laughs> say, Leighton, a jasmine rice, you say now? <laughs> and I say, jasmine rice? You know? Nobody cook here the rice, and now it's a rice I want for my dinner. <laughs> Going home, it at my dad's. I see him, I saw him and his brother, and I went there and I said, Good night. <laughs> my God, I, you know, I walk up to them and with a happy face and I said, Good night. And you know, there and then I tell the gentleman, Good night. I never knew it was his brother until he told me that it was his brother. And then I started to say, You know, because I always I hear my talk good things about my brother, so I started to talk to the brother. I say, You know, say, my brother always I talk good things about you. I start telling him some of my things. Um, mm. My God, me and him did that talk. You know, I stand, you know, I'm, I'm standing here and I'm thinking, when he sent me those messages, you know, I was thinking that, suppose I had cussed him out. Suppose, you know, me did disrespect him because right. the brother left and we were there standing and we talk and we talk and we talk until that man say that he is giving me a rent break. My God. Listen. 
When I think about it, yes, sometimes saints of God and every reaction action need a reaction. That's right. Sometimes you have to leave something, oh. silence some things. Yes, sometimes some people are going to judge you wrongfully. Sometimes some people are going to do some things to you. But leave it alone. Leave my God, God to fight my the God. battle. You know, when I really look back, I said, What, Jesus. Uh, what if me the answer him? What if me the disrespect him? I wouldn't have gone home and saw him and we have that good conversation and tell him, Look, for me different because, you know, he know me before I got saved and him know say. <laughs> Yeah. When me ready for deal with them, I just deal with them and don't give you a big attitude. And when him see, you know, my approach was different. Oh. I, I wasn't in any attitude mood. I said, good night. I we talk good until the man say, milk, I'm giving you a rent break. The my money that God. you was going to pay for this month, you, you are going to keep it. Jesus. But at the moment I knew it was that I just start thanking God. I was so happy my for the God, word my night. My God, I put the breadfruit to dry or whatever in the sun and i left and i went to one of my church sister from my past church they were having a grave digging and i went there since when i come back as me reach the gate me daughter mubi so and so teeth your breadfruit <laughs> say blessed redeemer <laughs> Sister Warren, I said I want to see that man. <laughs> but you see, when I hear a testify right now, it's not everything. My <laughs> God. I have to laugh. I have a nice roasted breadfruit, you know, man. <laughs> and I said, evil, evil, when we go home today, you know, I said to my daughter, you see, you see him? <laughs> oh, Jesus. But I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it in the hands of the Lord. But your love has made me strong. My ball, my pillar, them know the many times I have cried when I have been told I don't look good, when I've been told I don't look beautiful, when I've been told my fat them too long, when I've been told there's nothing I can do. Hallelujah to God. Says of God, let me testify when we had sipping and praise the other day. Normally when food I go on and then something I'm in a steer on it because I've been stigmatized and I can't do anything. Yes, I've been there, I've been stigmatized that I can't do anything. So because of that, I stay away from things. And when I find myself being so free, I sip paint and praise all I help. I take all things, I help, share all champion, I help. Do all of them something, the saints of God, you don't understand. Been through it, but I am still here. Hallelujah. I've cried and I've cried. I've cried and I've cried, but your love surround me, Lord. Your love embrace me. I said I've cried and I've cried but I'm still here God bless you tonight in Jesus name you are doing the right thing you know you're you're persistent you're consistent you're you're loyal to it bless God you're you you are so 
committed to the call. Bless God. Oh, I was saying to my Sunday school students, and I think I'm going to say it here, you have some criminals who are committed to criminality. Bless God. They are committed. They are loyal to the gang. Oh, if the gang said kill a man, they kill a man. If the gang says steal from a man, they steal from a man. They are committed to doing the wrong thing. Bless the God. Bless the Lord Jesus. Committed and can you imagine? You're loyal to something that is evil bless god and i said to my sunday school people my sunday school students i said to them it is not the man that god looked at but god looked at the loyalty god is looking at the loyalty and some people will look at it some people will look at it and say how how can it be and i asked them the question how can it be a man wipe out an entire family Bless the Lord Jesus, a criminal, kill, kill hundreds of people, or a dozen people, or enough people, or commit a number of different crimes. And people just want to hold on to him and mob kill him. And people see that. Let me tell you, for me personally, I am a Christian, but sometimes when I see the evil that some people do, oh my God, my heart is so upset. My heart is turned in me. And I say, God Almighty, should these people live? Oh my God, bless the Lord Jesus. And this was Saul. Saul was going around because he believed that the law was to be to be um to be to, uh, to be observed bless god and anybody who who was a christian because you see christianity was seen as a cult in those days it was this new thing that was coming up who is this jesus christ who are these people that is talking about the blood that was shed on calvary who are these people you are talking about a messiah has already returned who are these people talking about salvation is now here who are these people talking about cloven tongues and speaking in unknown languages who are these people it was an uprising at the time and saul said i will not have it i will not allow these people to, 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 um, to make my, the law of God impure. And he made it his mandate to go through all of the region and wipe it clean of everybody who was named a Christian. Bless the Lord Jesus. And it goes back to the same example I was using. That you have some people he was committed and he was loyal to doing it. He was so committed to doing it. He even had a band with him. He had a gang. People didn't know that Saul had a gang. He was a gang member. He was a part of a gang of men going around and, 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 and wreaking havoc on the Christians and the church. If you need to move beyond to be converted, to be used by God, let it go. Let it go tonight. And he moved. Kashato. In obedience to God. Went to Saul. And if you notice the Bible said. Like there was no conversation. He just let. I don't know if there was a conversation. He put his hands. Upon his eyes. Oh God. And immediately when he prayed. Immediately the Bible said. Forthwith. If you will let it go tonight, forthwith, forthwith, immediately you're going to see a change. Some of us not moving from where we are until we forgive some people. Until we let go of some hurt. It's not easy. God says it's not easy. It's not easy because years they trouble you and they tease you how you look. You're in a relationship for years and they abuse you, they box you, they insult you emotionally, physically, mentally. And I'm supposed to forgive you. But God says, if you do, immediately your peace will come back. Your peace will come back. The anointing will return. It has not lost, it's not gone, you know, it's there. But it will be activated. The scales fell off. Both of them got a revelation. Not one. Both of them got a revelation. Hallelujah. Praise God. And you know, while I was listening to missionary Sheridan, praise God, some things just came to my mind. And I said, you know, I was struggling with some things with my family. 
and the, the calling of God is on your life. Heavy, heavy, heavy. But you know, I had this thing where, where so many, I was mistreated then. You know, I, I felt like the cast out and everything. And I, I, I had this perception in my mind saying that I don't do family. I don't do, I don't do family. But you know, God brought me to this place, this very place, the restoration center. And I found a family that, you know, loved me. Hallelujah. And I in turn loved them. And then I was able to take myself and say, all right, you see the family, the blood that I have, I'm going to love them in spite of. So no matter how they talk about me, my Christianity, oh, you're, you're in a skirt and you look like this, and you, and you know, mistreated and all. And you know, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you take yourself out of a situation, you make them talk and everything, you know, but in your heart, you just bless them, praise God. And you know, the fact that persons are now calling on me to pray for them, praise God. You don't understand, hallelujah the level it took praise god i had this thing i had some vengeance even against my father mighty god mighty god hallelujah the word tonight thank you thank you i you know for the past few months i've been saying you know i forgive him jesus i forgive him somebody needs to forgive hallelujah right now jesus what a word hallelujah give me you I hope I'm not too late. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Give me you. Everything else can wait. I'm not 